Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Help you? I told you my sister would help us out. Fight or die well. Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now, and with that dragon. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on, you better get moving. Make yourself at home. Mm -hmm. So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse villages. I've got enough to worry about, taking care of my family. I don't concern myself with such matters. I.
citizen. I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I 
just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming... rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... Well, Rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Take a look. Thank you very much for your business. What's on your mind? Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skewer, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Kodlak advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Isgrimoire. This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Farewell.
We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Take a look. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, Mum. Yes, Mum. Oh, there once was a hero. You want a drink? Now the red who came riding to White Run from Old Rorik stead. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. As he told of both battles in gold he had made. Now please, no more questions. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Oh, you talk and you... And you drink all our mead Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed And so then came clashing and slashing of steel As the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor.
bubbles for sale. All crafted by the best. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Something in polished silver, maybe. Big enough to hold, say, a... Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a... Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? As long as you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I have several elixirs for sale. Remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Take a look. Come back any time if you need a remedy. Foolish old man. You know Come to chat with an old Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world gone mad, I say. Mister, could you spare a coin? I know your family's honor is 
But we can't afford If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's cauldron. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need a... Her one, maybe two good men. You won't stop. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside of I will keep In each of us, the future of sky. If my cleaning gets in your way, just say the word and I'll be off. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Yarl. And don't you forget. Don't you go tracking your dirty boots on my clean floor. What would you have me do then? Nothing? My lord. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgoth is not receiving visitors. I just Who's this then? As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. I'm right, starting to think... I want to hear what he has to say. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Gerda owns the lumber mill, if I'm not mistaken. Pillar of the community. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? Hmm. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. But what do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... This is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Varengar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project.
Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlords. Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. 
The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. Neither am I, come to think of it. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Need supplies? See Bellator at his store. Sleazy. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. <clears throat> you look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. I work with my mother. Sell fruits and vegetables. Send you back to the river. It's fun, most. Yes, house car. We'll leave immediately. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I can't afford to send anyone else. We don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people who sent you. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures.
do come back. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Uh, I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Remember, I'll give you the best deals or die. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone's obsessed. Was trouble in White Run?
Finally out of trouble, Red Guard. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Drink for the thirsty, Drink food for the hungry. Today's come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. not to the ale is going bad we need to get a new batch did we'll you hear drive me? out the storm cloaks yep. and restore going what bad. we own i guess you the don't have potatoes in your ears after all we will just make sure we get a fresh <laughs> Sure thing. It's yours for a day. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Mm-hmm. 